welcome everybody, I'm your host Leobach, and you're just in time for another episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 3! In the last episode, we fully completed Crimwood Forest and got a patch, which we really don't know what to do with that. But there's, since there's only one other place we can go in this area, we go back to Funky Rentals. We'll see what Funky can do with it. A patch? Oh yeah, this is just what I needed! What? Hang on for a couple of seconds, Kong. Now, get you a cool new tub for you to rub it up, dub. <laughs> Yay, we got a hovercraft. But before we get the hovercraft, we're gonna go out real quick and do some other things at uh, the bazaar, at Bazaar's general store. Um, we're gonna want to go in here first, of course. And we have enough money to buy the uh, shell. So we're gonna ask him where the shell came from. This shell was found in the bottom of Lake Orangutanga, and it's pretty rare. At five coins, it's a bargain. Would you like to purchase this fine specimen? Yes, please. It's a deal. I hope you're very happy together. So then, how may I be of assistance for you today? Okay, now we can, can't get the mirror yet. We don't have enough, but we get another dialogue choice. So who owns the castle? Um. Well, we haven't really seen a castle yet, if any, but we'll go ahead and ask him that anyway. I'll venture up there once, but if you want to know what I discovered, it'll cost you two coins. So, what do you think? Are you interested? Um, oh well, it's only two coins. Do tell. But once I got up to the castle grounds, I saw a sign which said, Keep right off our land! So I ran off. That was it. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, it's a rip. Um, but yeah, um, anyway, here we have Wrinkly Save Cave, uh, you already know what that is, but I'm gonna go in here anyway and kinda show you some, they do diff every time you go in she always says something different. Shh, Kongs, I'm on my last life and you're breaking my concentration. Another thing you'll also notice is that the, uh, banana birds, we'll go ahead and say real quick, <coughs> every banana bird you get will come back into this into Wrinkly's cave. I'm the cranky, stop wasting money on Swanky's bonus game. Um, real quick, the console she's playing is an, is a Nintendo 64. Um, right around the time this game came out, the N64 had been out, and so the Super Nintendo was on pretty much its last last legs, last leg at that point, and was going to fall into obscurity. Um, part of the reason why this game didn't sell well. Um, right up here, if we press B, we get a Kong Cave. <coughs> which is another secret area. Um. You can see me get real quiet here at this point with these things, because we really gotta fo- I really gotta focus a lot on these. Um. So, yeah. Um, right here before I forget, <clears throat> we're going to take this new seashell that we got and go back into Lake Orangutanga. Um, remember that, uh, Barnacle was looking for, for one. So, we'll go ahead and go into Barnacle's Island and see if he's willing to trade us for something. Yes, I used to be a scuba diver, but I've given it up. I just take it easy here at home now. What a beautiful shell. It's just what I need to finish off my collection. Hey Kong, are you willing to swap this shell for my bird? Arr, that I will. Ah, oh, should've given him a pirate accent. You would? That's great. Here's a bird, please take care of him. Okay. And we never have to see, deal with Barnacle ever again. <coughs> um, and with that, we can actually leave this area. Um, yeah, wrong direction, wrong direction. Uh, no, no, what the heck? There, okay. We didn't go through. Go out correctly. Correctly. Okay, now, one thing you might have noticed with the hovercraft is that we can now jump rocks. Well, most rocks. You can't jump these rocks, which is weird. Um, right here we get two new area choices. We have this area over here, Cotton Top Cove. Or this area over here, Mechanos. Or Mechanos. Um... I'm gonna go Cotton Top Cove first. Right here, right up here. Before we go, we'll get uh, Bramble's Bungalow. And for some reason, we can actually go up here 
but it doesn't do anything. That will come into play later. <coughs> Let's talk to Bramble, shall we? Out of all the ba brother bears, this one's probably the most effeminate to me for some reason. Ah, oh, hello there, Kongs. Let me introduce myself. I'm Brambles, a, bot a thing but botanist. The most beautiful flowers used to grow around here, but they died back when those awful machines came. Yeah. Um, he's talking about the factory. But we're going to focus on the factory later. Right now, we're going to do Cotton Top Cove. Um, before we actually start anything, we notice that we get Blue's Beach Hut. So let's go ahead and go in there real quick. Here's Blue. Hello there, Kongs. How are you? My name is Blue. Pleased to meet you. You wouldn't have brought... Oh, I can see you haven't. Never mind. Yeah, Blue's very... Um, blue. <laughs> um, why is it sad? Because it's his birthday. Right here we get another uh, secret cove. It's his birthday and... Why would that be sad? Well, because everyone forgot his birthday. Um... That has got to be like the easiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Seriously, that's, uh, that's easy. <clears throat> <coughs> anyway, with that said, let's get started with our first level of the day, Baza's Blockade. Wow, six minutes into the video and, we already, and we're only just now getting into the first level of the episode. Um, as you can tell, this is a water level. Great. Um, these little fish guys we see here are Baza. They just spawn out of those holes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's about all I can say about them. And this is, that's basically the theme of this level is kind of avoiding their rhythmic patterns. One moment. Okay, I had my alarm go off, and I don't know if you guys saw that, or if it was just me, but when I hit pause, yeah, the background vanishes. That doesn't happen in the real game. Um, right here, yep, there's a bonus. Yay! Right here we have find the coin. Sorry about that. Um, this is basically where dodging lurchins and bosses to get a coin. That's it. <laughs> um, and we don't even get an easy way out. Um, so yeah. Right here is no, well, not really. This level isn't all that difficult. You just gotta really know what their patterns are. I mean, it's it's really not that hard to figure it out. I mean, give it like two or three try, two or three passes. Even not even that. I mean, you can pretty much figure it out pretty easy. It's pretty basic stuff. Um. Like right here, they always have that di like that diagonal entry. If I made any sense of that just by talking, I don't think I did. But it's really ouch. <laughs> yeah, and I get hit right there. Uh, the main thing that will become an issue is the uh, getting used to the water controls, which I mean, it really isn't that hard. Um. Hey. And of course, I get killed. <laughs> um, I'll meet you guys back there. And we're back. Um, right here, we can follow their path, or I believe if we go this way, underneath them, we get a bonus. <clears throat> kind of tricky, but it's not too hard to figure out where it is. And here we get Bash the Baddies. You get to play the Unguard! Yay! Um, this one is very simple. All the enemies will pop out of these little holes. Um, it really isn't that hard. Um, and as I say that, I die. Oh well, we'll try it again. Um, 
Yeah, I'll give this uh, one more try. And... So, yeah. Um, I'll give this one more try before I cut. To, before I start cutting and going to the one I to complete. But yeah, like I said, it's not that hard at all. Just kind of. Just kind of just. Right there, the last one. Look at the coin. Um. <coughs> so yeah, that was it. Now I believe we can use Unguard to. Yep, Unguard will kill those those uh, the Brazos for us. So we kind of break the game by getting access to Unguard. <laughs> I mean, or we break the level anyway. Um. Right there, would have been a hard one. You would get a, I believe they're, uh, loot fishes. Um, or booty fishes or something like that. Um, they're equivalent, which are the, the birds, or booty birds. So I'm going to go with booty fish. And right here we get the end. Before we get to the end, we get the coin right here past the end. Um... So we kill the coin and we beat the level. Yay! <coughs> so right there we go up and we get Rocket Barrel Ride. Let's go ahead and start this, shall we? This is a waterfall level. One of, I believe, three or four water water levels. Then we get Clump, as they're called. They're kind of our answer to Crusha and whatever the other enemy was in the last game. But here we get rocket barrels. These kind of go up on their own and just kind of jump on their own as well. Um, actually, I think what we need to do, we need to get a uh, Dixie Kong here. Um, oh, wait, no, I did that wrong. Um, there we go. Oh, <laughs> bet you that was fun, huh? Um, let's see if I can remember where all the DK coins are in this level. I probably can't. Um. So yeah. Um. Can't really think of anything to talk about. Um. These barrels are completely automated. You can't really control how they work. Um. I did get an idea of what plums are like when Dixie hits them. Meaning you gotta not suck <laughs> and be like Kitty Kong. Or use a barrel. Um, let's see, I believe. Actually, on. Leave if we drop right about there. We get a bonus! Yay! Our first bonus to this level! Actually, it might be our second, I'm not sure. Um, well, first we've seen. <clears throat> this one's really not that hard. Um, just kinda. Follow the paths. That's it. <laughs> it's really not that. It's really not that high risk. And right there, we get the the uh, checkpoint. Um. Oh boy. Nah, I'm starting to run a blank when talk about anything. Um. Ah. Yeah. The. The way this game works is you can actually go behind the waterfalls if you get on those certain platforms. Um, right there we need to wait for the buzz. There we go. And again, we gotta wait for the buzzes. And there. Um, I believe... Right over here. Oh, right over here, I believe. No, right over here is the right way to go. Um... Well, right over here we get Perry the Parallel Bird, as I've found out his, his name is. Um, right there. Of course our goal with him is to not let him die, because he gets hit once he dies for good and we can't get him back. Um, of course they try to make that challenging, since he sits parallel to us at all times. We kind of got to keep him... We gotta be, kind of be considerate of where everything is above us as well. Um, right there we get a one-up for that. 
and we jump up here. We were almost at the end with him anyway. Um, and boom! Get a three up! Yay! Okay, I went for that like three times before I got that. Um, wait. Another bonus! Yay! Okay, collect 60 stars. Um, this one's pretty easy again. The star one, the collecting the star ornaments aren't that hard at all. Um, just kind of, yeah, the banana, the green bananas are going to be the ones that are going to tear you a new one. Um, those are the ones that are going to really, really make things hard, especially later on. Um, right there, you get close right at the G. Um, and right here, well, over here we get coin, but we don't get a wall. So what we really need to do is toss the barrel. Actually, hold on. I didn't do that right. Um, toss the barrel, get into that, get to the other side, and boom, we get the DK coin. Yay! Um, and with that, we get everything. Woohoo! <coughs> um... So yeah, I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to end the video off here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save and end the video off here right here for now. And, uh, I just see my glasses calling. I'm going to put them down somewhere, but I can't remember where. We'll go ahead and save. We've got six banana birds. We'll see our progress right there. And, um, so yeah. With that said... She talks about the Banana Bros. Nice Company. With that said, I will see you guys later.